Here he is, Mr. John Mark himself. Oh, you look good in the sun. Cold that, that, uh, oh, it's so cold. It's cold like yesterday, I'm so cold. Yesterday, seven degrees. Well, good morning on the lovely day 22 of the Sun Trip 2024. Uh, over the Pyrenees, or at least into the Pyrenees today, and then we're almost back in France. <laughs> Can you believe it? Back in France. France, Spain, Portugal, Spain, Morocco, Spain, France. <laughs> oh, I've really loved this riding across Spain. Central Spain is awesome for cycling. Oh, it's so cool here. Really, it's so cool. Free shower. Oh, it'll, be, it'll be quite fun to ride. Ah! <laughs> it'll be quite fun to ride through there. What are you looking at? I haven't really filmed that much this morning. I think I'll film more this afternoon when we're in the mountains. So I'll see you in seven hours. <laughs> I'll just be here cycling. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm trying today for my hardest or my highest level human power day. It's quite difficult because I've got my, I can read my human power. I've got a meter in the pedals. I can see it right here on the screen. And if you go just slightly too hard, you build fatigue really quickly and it comes back and bites you in the ass. And if you go a bit too soft, then you haven't done as much as you could have. It's really like, you've really got to just ride that line and the line, where the, <laughs> where the line is, changes depending on how tired you are and how fit you are. Obviously now my fitness has increased since the beginning. So I only know my baseline from the beginning because I haven't done a fitness test. Obviously I'm fatigued, but to be honest at this point, I think the fitness I've gained minus the fatigue I've gained is still significantly higher than the beginning when I was fresh and without fatigue, which is kind of wild. <laughs> I was the fittest of my life at the beginning of this. I've been training for six months, a structured training plan, 15 to 20 hours a week. 10, 15 or 20 hours a week. Absolutely committing everything to try and get myself as strong as possible. Well, it's definitely paid off so far. I mean, if the sun keeps shining like this, I won't win for sure. But to be in second place, it's kind of amazing. I really, I really, really thought that I would be battling for the podium. I thought Raf was supposed to enter previous multiple champion uh, but he had problems last minute which sucks I thought we'd fight I thought the, and then I thought maybe the Germans as well the German team will be battling for the podium I thought I thought first place was a you know it's a Velomobile <laughs> I wasn't really considering it so stupid to be fighting against the Velomobile <laughs> I just said this to a friend it's like what am I doing like there was supposed to be somebody else here to battle with. John Mark was supposed to win. Oh, but I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there, and we're being competitive. Remember, competitive. God damn, the police just came up with all the blue lights on and everything. Came right up to me, I thought, no, not today, please not today. I haven't got time. And then they just sort of took a look at me, turned off the blue lights and drove away. I was like, oh, thank God for that. It is 
straight for those clouds north of here. Get me in those clouds. And what I mean by that is get John Mark in those clouds. to do a little petrol station food resupply unfortunately bit of a waste of time but if I keep going like I'm going now we're gonna burn more calories than food I'm carrying that's for sure but now we're all good also another unfortunate thing is I keep running into uh, low calorie pineapple juice what's that all about other people have realized how many <laughs> what a ridiculous number of calories are normally in it climbing begins the real Pyrenees. Over the top we go. many police on the road on the Spanish side so yeah I really had to be careful I didn't film very much there was police, a lot of police cars I really did not have the time to be stopped by police today I even had a, I had a whole plan because <laughs> in Spain I've been playing music out loud from my phone which you're allowed to do you're just not allowed to have headphones in so in, in, in Cat I was in Catalonia just now and in Catalonia, the people love nothing more than Catalonia. <laughs> so, I, I, last night and this morning, I learned a few words of Catalan. Because, you know, people like that. And, um, I, I was just basically, I was basically ready to try and uh, smile my way and nice my way out of trouble as quick as possible. And, oh yeah, I was playing music, but I was only playing Catalan music in order to get a conversation going. You know what I said the other day, if you can get a police per, a police officer laughing, boom, problem solved, you, you, you're good. The combination of a few words of Catalan and playing Catalan music, I was thinking, well, it's pretty stupid, but if it works, <laughs> if there's a 1% chance of it working, totally worth it. So that was my master plan. That was my sneaky plan. So I can actually update you on what the heck is going on. John Mark went far east. Well, not not like Sun Trip 2018 far east, but like he really shot off in an easterly direction. I kind of knew he was going to do it. I thought he's going to go. He's going to try and go to the ocean and go around the Pyrenees because he, he tries to avoid as many meters elevation as he can. You know me. I just go straight over it. It's fine. 
last night I even threw away a lot of stuff like spare parts that are not going to be necessary now uh, some tools I saved around two kilograms so that's quite significant uh, that's a significant amount of weight to carry over the Pyrenees so right now I'm in the lead he's chosen a very strange route he's going through the suburbs of Barcelona at 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. on a Friday which I just can't understand I can't understand what he's doing um, his route is 75 kilometers longer but I've done more kilometers than him today I don't I, I have no idea what's going on but this is the only chance I'm gonna get so you better believe I'm gonna try and take it I've been pushing so hard those road bikers I was with we were like chasing each other and it, it was perfect because you know when you if you're on a road bike and you're with somebody stronger than you those guys are in the mountains on a road bike they're way faster than me and I'm chasing somebody who I basically can't catch like a hamster in a wheel you're guaranteed to, to go hard you, you got no choice it was it was the perfect situation I've got decent weather I've got a nice tailwind I, I can't believe it I really can't, and my battery is doing fantastic and I'm at altitude right now I'm at like 1,700 meters or something. No, 1,400. Brilliant. And of course, we're back in France. That means headphones, which also means music again. to do some shopping outside the riding hours always a good thing the shop the only shop I could find inside is like a bit of a crazy mess and uh, I was like oh it looks like the, the Moroccan shop in here turns out the two guys are Moroccan and uh, in my bad French turns out I can also pay <laughs> he says I to, he saw the jersey and it was like, oh you're in city if and uh, I'm gonna pay him in Moroccan money <laughs> in dirhams, which is just kind of hilarious in some random town in the Pyrenees. <laughs> so funny with these two Moroccans, what absolute characters, just absolutely haggling, absolutely haggling in like a French grocery shop <laughs> about like the conversion between euros and, and dirham. It's the only haggling I've really done because I mean, I've, I've just been going to like petrol stations and stuff. It's not a tourism trip. It's about being competitive. <laughs> but now I'm outside of the riding time, so I'm kind of free. But I am actually wasting a lot of time. I need to go to sleep and cook and with all this stuff I just bought. Oh yeah, I bought granola, which is my favorite food in the world. So tomorrow morning, oh my God, I'm gonna be a happier boy. I need it because tomorrow is gonna be a very important day. Yeah, what an incredible day. 
Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow for possibly the most important day of the Sun Trip 2024 for me. Good night.